is known these days as the giant killer. No wonder, of course, he stunned O'Sullivan when he was still an amateur at last year's World Championship, last season's World Championship back in the spring. And Akani has given O'Sullivan trouble in the past at the UK Championship. That's a mistake from Dominic, though. Didn't legislate for the middle pocket jaw. And O'Sullivan potentially straight back in. Well, I thought he flicked a bit on the way through. I beg your pardon. He didn't do that, actually. But he didn't get nicely on the blue. As you can see, this is a horrid shot. Very thin. He literally checked the nail. He keeps changing his mind. That's remarkable. That is remarkable. Because he changed from right to left-hand side about three times on that. And you're meant to start this whole process again. But he stayed down on the it's shot. I don't see anything like it, to be honest. And the cue ball very nearly caught up with the blue before the blue got to the pocket. It was a bit of a race. Kept changing his mind on the shot while he was down. Seven. Well, that was another terrific positional shot to the pink. Mo Sullivan who definitely seems to be warming up here. available to go on its own spot so behind the pack it goes thank you 13 I like the way the referee says thank 14. you there say thank you for not just blasting your next shot while I'm still putting the last one on the spot 20. Well, that's a good 21. shot to screw that red away. Yes, if you're refereeing Ronnie O'Sullivan's match, you really have to have your skates on. Alex Grissan is doing everything he can to keep up. And he's doing a good job, I might add. A good referee, I think. 28. Putting in, it might get time and a half for this match, you never know. Danger money. Well, out of the blue, O'Sullivan's, O'Sullivan's missed 20. a sitter just when it looked as though he was poised to level at two each there. He'd really got on a roll. 80 break in the previous frame. Did he get a kick there? Didn't sound all that healthy. Break ends at 28, the relief of Dominic Dale. But only a safety available to the former two-time ranking winner. Now ranked down at 93 in the world, Dale. He has been as high as 19, never quite cracked the top 16, even though he won those two ranking titles. Yeah, I think that's correct, that ranking, 100% right. But it's the first of his two years, isn't it? Because he got in on the... He either got in just in the 64, he got on, on the one-year list. You know, as the highest eight. So it's his first of two years, so he'll be able to build on that ranking next year. And his second year of points start to go on. He is a better player than that sort of a ranking. Karen Wilson has levelled up at two each on table two on the player. Alan McManus is 2 0 up on China Zhao Jintong. Jack Lazowski has beaten Zhang and a 4 1.
they were going in in the first couple of frames, but Dale hasn't potted a ball now since he led 2-0. That's a good pot from O'Sullivan. Wriggled a bit, but he struck it well. One. Yes, it tried to stay out, didn't it? And as you say, I thought he'd hit it well. It rattled a lot in the jaw there. That's the first long pot of any description he's made in this match. First from nine. So he's just finding his range Seven. You know, in the end. in his own way is turning into an interesting battle between these two now. It wasn't really a match early on. Dominic was all over Ronnie. Fifteen. Yeah, he didn't land ideally on the pink there. It was a little bit awkward than it might have been. Awkward enough to miss at that pace. That's a couple of chances O'Sullivan's let slip in this time. Had it been a bit slower, it would have dropped, but at that pace, no cigar. Yes, big moment because if somehow Dominic could find a way of winning this frame, it would be very significant in a short match. Ronnie's been in twice with proper chances, which he hasn't won the frame off. Six. Seven. Doesn't get quite the action on the cue ball. So it's got to be in and out of balk to keep the break going. As a result of that, no man's land positionally. Oh. Yes, he's right in between shots here. So he's done well because he was close to a shot in the middle or the bottom. 13. Went for the bottom and the problem was he was always running back to bulk almost unavoidably so. Now he's going to try and hide that cue ball in behind the colour. Didn't want the, the pink in but he hasn't got 13. the snooker either so. He didn't quite achieve what he was looking for there. His disappointment. Another star studded lineup in the offing this evening here at the Emirates Arena. We kick off with Judd Trump. World number one and world champion against Amin Amiri. And then the whirlwind is back on the main match table up against UK finalist Stephen Maguire. Our coverage on Eurosport 1 will begin at quarter to seven. Well, this is a big frame now, isn't it? O'Sullivan's had a couple of chances. Dale's now back at the table. He can win this one. Be in a very strong position. Thirteen. 
come on. Five. Well, he's gone top one here. Well, that's for sure. The two reds are not really gettable at. So the safety shot once again. Just get the feeling that coming Dominic is, is happy to just wait and see what comes his way. And early on, they were coming his way. Ronnie's playing a bit better now, so maybe Dominic will have to find a bit more if he's going to win this match of his own, rather than hoping that O'Sullivan will just break down. Six the deficit for Dale, fifty one still available. see he's got clear access to this red but it's by no means easy that makes it look unmissable at low angle camera right. One. <laughs> have a guess what the next shot's going to be go on in behind the black coming down one doesn't look much fun this shot how's he going to hit one here I don't know if he can just glance a red, that right hand red on the way back up from one cushion. If he can't do that, then, uh, then what can he do? I think perhaps that's an option. I think this is the only oh, possible nice. way of getting out. I mean, down this four. is going to be, he'll go back a few times, I think, if he can't hit it. He needs to be a little careful here, or Sullivan doesn't give away a lot of points because he's trying to screw this with a touch of Ryan's side to straighten it back. Might have been lucky there. I don't know whether Dominic can pop one. The look in Dominic's eyes suggests he's not on one. He looked to the heavens, the spaceman. Yeah, so Sullivan's been very fortunate not to leave anything there. The ball's invitingly placed for Dominic Dale to complete the comeback, but he's not on a red. Judging from O'Sullivan's gasp, that was an attempted pot. Yes, of course, he didn't have to go for one there, but he chose to. But he missed it by a mile. Problem is, he's going for long pots as if he's knocking them all in, but at the moment he just isn't. One from 11 now from distance for O'Sullivan. Again, a little fortunate, having missed by such a margin that he didn't leave anything for Dale to go at. It's actually a very good shot at that pace because a lot of players would have dropped up to the red when he was confident he could hit it and push it to the other end of the table to the cue ball. That's what's known as a safety shot. It was 
played pretty well. I haven't seen enough of those, I'd say, or many of them from Sullivan this afternoon. That was a good shot. Still in a favourite's position in the frame. That's pretty well played. Now, what does he do here on Sullivan? And the red is going perilously close to the left middle. Yep, chance for Dale. Nothing safe. Just 21 behind. Well, any other colour but the yellow means he won't need the black. Six. I think in an ideal world, he'd have played on the green. Because now he's overrun it. And the green would have been better on its spot. Easy to access from yellow to green oh. to brown. But either way, in playing the, the pink... He's overrun it a lot. And he snookered himself somehow. Well, that might just be a turning point in this match. What a chance Dominic Dale's passed up there. Looking on course for 3-1. He may yet achieve that score, but 12. he's going to have to win the frame again now. And he knows it. It's worked out well. He played a, the right shot, I think, just running yellow up and down, but he's managed to find a way beyond the middle bag. And actually, this is not an easy shot to play safe from. Still, though Sullivan struggles from long range. A lot of these long pots he's been taking on have been very tough, but even so, that's one out of 12. Not stats you'd associate with O'Sullivan ordinarily. Yeah, excellent shot, acknowledged by O'Sullivan. 
Vantage Dale. Difficult, oh, isn't it, when you're that close to the cushion to judge the angle of escape? No, get the feeling that he'll have learned from that because, as you say, it's a very difficult shot straight into the cushion. But having played it once, you feel that the second time he, he just might find a way of playing it better. Funny. Just a little bit further up the cushion, perhaps. Well, he has played it better, but he still missed it. Paul, oh, miss. Coming down seven. Wow. This is, uh, back. Well, it's going back rather than from where it is. But there's not a great deal in it, actually. And both shots are not, not much fun. As you can see, the yellow is so far away from that bolt cushion, there's an awful lot of room around the back of it to, for the key ball to just go. Yep. Okay. So take three. Oh, that's so much better. Got there in the end. Here's a little chance, though, for Dominic. Big, huge banging noise in the audience. Stick in your pocket. Somebody's phone just hit the ground and echoed all around the, the arena. What a pop that is. What a terrific pop from cool. Dominic Dale. Well, he's still got the issue of green to brown, but this is a humdinger. Too much side by the looks of things. Yeah, this is not a humdinger this time. Five. You're right. Too much side. Left hand side, it checked the cue ball and stopped it from having enough speed on it in, in the first instance. So it was the wrong direction. Now in behind the black again with the cue ball is the plan. Well, he's winning this little little battle, all right, Dominic. There's no question. He's got Ronnie in a lot of trouble. And has done for the last few shots. His points oh, are mounting up that he's giving away as well. In, in shots missed. contact this time. They all need the brown and the blue. Dominic Dale is playing solidly enough that a 3-1 deficit is going to be tough for O'Sullivan to recover. So these are big moments in this match. Wow. Four. Sense of all or nothing about that one, but there's a long pot in the nick of time for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yes, he might have played it at that speed because he felt he could just block the, the brown off with the blue and pink, but now he's got the angle here, or if anything, too much angle to get in behind the black. Well, he's got the pot. 
Has he got the cannon over the middle pocket? If so, it's some shot, and he's played it. If he played that, it's a brilliant shot. I'm not so sure he did. Dominic grinning. Well, O'Sullivan shook his head as if to indicate he didn't. Oh, Foul. you're kidding me. And frame, Dominic down. He's just blown the frame. Extraordinary. Perhaps irritated that he fluked the cannon. I don't know. Either way, he's just gifted the frame. An early Christmas present for Dom. And he's one away from victory at 3-1. It's close to 3-2 behind. Tonight it's Trump against Amiri first up on Eurosport 1. Just a reminder of how the frame before last ended in odd circumstances. O'Sullivan playing what turned out to be a perfect cannon onto this decisive black. The inference was from O'Sullivan's body language that it was more by luck than design, that cannon. And in playing the black,